Derek McKenna here for Irishboxing.com with Tyrone McKenna. Tyrone, that's you up to 6 and 0 now. Yeah. Um, it's a bit of a tricky customer out there tonight. Talk yeah. through the performance there. Uh, it was the first time out in front of the home crowd. I wanted to give an amazing performance, but I couldn't do it like that. This guy, this guy was just backing off me, backing off me, and then just lunging in with hooks and trying to hope to catch one. And he did catch me a few times, but uh, so it was awkward to do that. And so, I, had to, I, had to, I was trying to wait on him, wait on him, try and, try and catch him when he was coming in, but it was just like that, wasn't it? And he kept on holding on and hebbing and stuff, so it was a messy fight. It wasn't the kind of fight I wanted to have in front of my own fans, but it's what it, what it is, it's what it is. So. You, you definitely landed the cleaner punches out there, but yeah. like you say, he, he was awkward. Um, you said to Johnny last week uh, from IrishBoxing.com uh, that you were you there might be some nerves out there with yeah. fighting in front of your home crowd for the first yeah, time. Did you feel that way tonight? No, I was complete opposite. I felt peaceful at home, so I was saying to Tommy and that's the least nervous I've been before a fight. I was just sitting there. I think it's because of my coach that I uh, had had for 15 years instead of being at Mag with some, someone new. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was good to be. I got my, my, my proper clothes, my friends, and I just felt good at it. I felt confident going out. So is that you for the future now? You're back, you're back for good? Um, you, you won't be based out in America anymore? Or? Um, I, don't know, I don't know what the future holds at the minute. I'm talking to a few people in England, a few people here, a few people in Dublin. So, and I'm still talking to a couple of people in America, but at the minute I'm kind of wanting to be based there with, with my family and stuff or in England, so I'm just quick flight home, see my kids and stuff. So. I don't know what's going on next month, so we'll have a few meetings and see what's, what's in store for me. Um, Johnny was talking to you, as I said last week, and you were halfway through telling him a story about uh, sparring Matt Koroboff before you got cut off in Pascal's gym. Yeah. And, uh, uh, I'll let you continue on with that story. Obviously, you were, you're, yeah, you're no, being over there sparring yeah, Koroboff. Sparring Matt was unbelievable. The things you learned from, from he was going for a world title fight, so the things you learned in that kind of camp is priceless. And I, I learned a lot from his, his, co his coach as well, telling me stuff. and. And there's people like uh, Chris Byrne, who's a great surfer. He was there and he was telling me what to do and stuff and how to box, be, be effective as a surfer. So it was a great experience and you can't, you can't be impressed on that. Thing, so. uh, just a word for the crowd you had out there, you had a big crowd out there. Which yeah, I did, I did. I'm happy to see him support, come out and support me and uh, hopefully we'll see a better turn on the next time. Right? Uh, is there anything lined up in the short term? Is there any fights lined up? Or no, 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 not at the minute, just talks about it. Uh, Nothing set in stone yet. And long term, is is there any idea of like working towards a title or anything like that in in, in no. the year ahead or? Well, I still got I still have talks to get the manager, so yeah. I haven't got no talks about what what title I want to do. I have titles set in my mind that I want to get achieved in 2015. So, so Ron, congratulations on the win tonight. Thank Thanks. Thanks very much. Thanks.